So here we go with a, a new toy and uh, I've now used it for three or four sessions all over Christmas and I thought now is the time having actually used it to do a little review and what we think of it. It is the Beetle Bits cutting system. Um, it comes in bits, you have to buy it in bits certainly in the UK you do. Um, you buy six waffle grids which all link together. They've got little lugs, they? little lugs that all then fit together, create one seamless flat surface, which is good. Talking about the grids, there is only one problem with it, and that's when you get a join, you then have a double thick bead and that one on the left, you cannot get the sizes in. It doesn't fit because it's slightly narrower. So maybe that could be adjusted because it's close to where I'm working when I'm pushing glass through to measure. So I can't use that cube. Um, so that, that could be sorted out. Um, just a slight redesign. I mean, when you're paying whatever it was, 70 or quid for a bit of a grid plastic, it really should do the job a little bit better than that. Still, easy to set up. Um, I've got my 45s on. I'm actually going to reset this, um, take it apart again, and just move the ruler to the end so if you're setting it up from fresh then you might want to just nudge that to the end and then that won't overhang there or you've got to bring it right in but then when you've got a bigger sheet that you're working on it's going to get in the way so it's better to have them further out and ideally I'd have probably have gone even further out but uh, you zero it on the 90 and then when you put your cutter head which is dead easy it just drops on and the cutting wheel drops straight in so when the yellow marker comes to your zero then you're all lined up on your 90 and then it's just a matter of picking up the bar, swinging it round to your 45, making sure it's pressed home, make sure it's pressed home both ends because it tends to lift up a bit. And then you've got your 45 and you can do any, any angles, any different cutting. So it is, it's really good. Yeah, for what it costs, it's an awful lot cheaper than some of the other ones on the market. Build quality probably not quite as good being that it's all plastic and not metal shafts and things but we've had some good results quite happy uh, another problem is the head comes with two oil wells this one which has got foam in it for putting your oil in this one is just a spare blank so you've got no foam in it why they bother giving you one and not the other it doesn't say in the instructions whether this one's for something else so you've got that one this one doesn't have a lid so your oil dries up between usage uh, and i cellophane that cling filmed as much as i could and over 10 days, it still dries out. So I think for the sake of 30p to put a lid on the damn thing, uh, it would be advisable. And also stick a bit more foam in that one so you've got a second one that you can actually use. That's the only other little negative that I have on, on that. The cutter itself. It's just a very simple sliding affair. 
storage on the side for the Allen key, which is completely useless because it just gets in the way when you're doing it, getting in your fingers. So that really lives in the box, but that's where it's supposed to go. Not ideal, I don't think. It's a nice, nice touch to have it somewhere where you got it close to hand. It's just for this grub screw here. Wind it up and down and that sets the cutting, cutting uh, depth. So it just stops it from coming off at the end and damaging your uh, ruler. But having said that, the bar, you're not really gonna see it here, it's got spring in it anyway. So if you're pressing a bit too hard, you're taking the bar down by a couple of mil. So you can still catch the ruler, which I did right at the beginning, because I had it just missing the ruler and then used it, come off the glass, with some pressure, and caught the ruler. Never mind. Uh, the only other thing is the cutter sits in there and there's play on it. There's play on this, that lets it rock, so that's changing the angle, so you've got to make sure you keep that very secure when you're cutting, bringing it down, holding this, keep it flat, and just the right amount of pressure on that. It just takes some getting used to, but because it's all plastic, you've got play in this, even when this is sturdy. So you do have to make sure you push that squarely down and don't let it oscillate as you come down the glass. I have found a couple of times as I'm coming off the glass, I must be kicking it over. And I got a little kick on the end of the of the sheet. But uh, all new gadgets take some getting used to. On the whole, it's a it's a pretty good unit. They've changed the design from the picture. It shows some round stops to hold this. What I don't get is the fact that this end you've got a thumb screw that you can tighten down. You've got a hole in the ruler here, but they don't give you another one. Instead of having to have this and this, if you just put another one of those on this end, it won't go anywhere. And then these could be used outside of your board to hold glass and things because these are good they're all they're all designed to do a good job they've got measurements on them and everything but you can't use this because it moves around if you haven't got it locked off so i don't know why they don't make it with one of those that end how much is one of those little red things tuppence you're paying hundred or pound for the system that's without the cutter and without the board that's just the ruler the bars the stops the 45s i really think that that could be better just niggly things but it's an honest opinion i'm not being paid by beetle bits i've got no connection with them whatsoever this is purely my findings of my usage with it comes from America, uh, expensive to buy in America and bring to the UK, forget it. You're gonna be hammered on import duty alone, net alone 40 odd pound postage, which most places seem to wanna to charge you to send a kit. Uh, warm glass in the UK is where mine came from. I had to wait a little bit for everything to be in stock, but we got there eventually. But, uh, They've taken the pain out of importing it all, so you uh, but you don't get any discount. You don't get your usual warm glass discount on this item, but warm glass are very, very good with their service and sending things out, which I really like. That's where all our stuff comes from. So it's, it is good on the whole. These are very easy to use. You just plug them in, you've got some adjustment on them so you can set 
where you want it to be and then you lock it off with a twist and that's lovely and firm so we'll just I'll show you cutting a bit of glass how easy it is to to use and if you feel it might be what you wanted to use it for then I would recommend it really having said all that's it so you can bring your glass down to the ruler nice and easy you can set with one of these either this side you can set it from zero out or you can count back the other way if needed we're just going to do a simple cut so we've set this set the glass at two centimeters 20 mil oh one thing the ruler is in inches on the other side I prefer working in centimetres, so luckily it's one good thing is it is a dual calibration. So you've got centimetres and you've got inches on the other side. I know the Americans prefer their inches. Some people in the UK will use either, but uh, I usually, if I'm doing a coaster, then it's 10 centimetres. So if I'm working then with a 10 centimetre coaster, I like to divide up whatever I'm doing centimeters it just makes it easier so that's good that is definitely a positive so we've got the little bit of give on here you can feel when the blade hits the glass just release come forward touch and then just score dead simple you can, it's sometimes hard to see the score line because it's so fine. You can just see it there. But uh, lovely. Nice and crisp. So we've got a lovely straight edge. Square that piece of glass up now. So it's good. On the whole, as I said, quite happy with the system. Um, I'm going to do some stringer pieces and they'll be next and hopefully the videos for those will be coming up i'm going to play with some stringers fusing them on sheets and cutting them up into bits and bobs so look out for that and i'll see you all on that video take care everybody